we have an REI Kingdom 8 tent, which we absolutely love for longer trips. But we wanted something for last minute, get in the car, go, throw everything in quickly and easily. You don't have to set up a tent. You can go after the kids are out of school. You don't have to set up a tent. You don't have to tear it down, dry it off, get the sap off of it, blah, 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 blah. So we bought a Chrysler Pacifica minivan and we absolutely love it. We made a platform bed and turned it into um, a bunk bed situation. So we actually have our family of four, two adults and two kids, five and two years old. And our dog, Lucy, who is 70 pounds, um, she's got her own space in the back. So I'm gonna quickly show you, this is how it's set up um, for camping. We literally booked this campsite two hours before school got out, packed it up and left, um, and have had a really nice time here. So here is the platform bed. Can you come closer, please, Jeff? Here's the platform bed. My husband insists on not using a pillow, so he doesn't have a pillow. We'll put that in as a stand-in. But um, we've got this just roll-up roll up camp pad, and we put it on top of the platform bed. Um, so the platform bed is made of two 19 by 47 inch um, pieces of wood. And then there's a piano hinge here so that we can just easily lift this up and access our bins that are underneath. This is our clothes and toiletries bin. Can you see it pretty good? Um, this is our clothes and toiletries bin. Um, and over there is our, um, what is that? Our um, like kitchen bin. Um, oh, we're pulling that off. So we ended up, um, having these pieces of wood and then what we did is we just drilled holes into the, um, the leg which is held on with a little hinge in there which I'll show you I think it's called a T hinge and then we just slide these um, bolts in there to just hold it in place so that they don't collapse while we're sleeping um, but I'll close this up because you'll see then the hinges here so we've got these hinges here and then there's just velcro to, um, so these all fold down flat so it makes it really easy for storage um, and then the velcro holds it down so that it, the, the legs aren't just flopping all over the place um, when you're moving the thing around so you just pop it open and then I just added some duct tape just so that it slides across the floor more easily so we'll go ahead and put that back down stick that in and a fitted sheet is really nice. Um, you don't have to mess around with your sheet going all over the place. Um, and it's nice to sleep with your spouse <laughs> um, together on one bed. So this is basically the size of a double bed. Um, we've got our box of shoes. I'm gonna switch it out for like a plastic bin that fits there. Um, we ended up buying this um, cube, water cube. And so far we really like it. Um, you can fill it with water and then have it just sitting at the table. It's got a nozzle that allows it to drain quickly or slowly. So you can even like wash some dishes under it um, or use it for cooking. Um, this is just our little bag of the bolts. Um, so we have some extra bolts in case we lose any or um, if we need some extra bolts. Uh, we ended up buying this, um, I'll put, I'll put all the links to everything below, but we ended up buying this, um, screen material and we cut it all to size and then I labeled it passenger sliding door and there's magnets. So you literally just pop it off and you just pop it on and it sticks to everything. So that way you can have the windows down. So we had the windows down probably that much last night and it was great. We also, if you can come show the top here, babe. We also have one up here on top. Again, it's um, a magnet strip, so that holds that down. And so we were, woo, we were able to have the sunroof open as well, so it didn't get too hot. In the warmer weather, we actually have these clip-on battery-operated fans 
that um, we stick kind of up here in the sunroof to help either send hot air out or bring cold air in um, at night. So that's pretty nice. Um, what else? We take the car seat. So when we're driving, we just flip this thing up and we push it all back. And, um, and then we pop their seats. So the kids' seats are actually in the ground. That's the best thing about the Chrysler Pacifica is the seats all, so we have um, one, two, three, four, five seats right now that are folded down into the ground with the push of a button. It's amazing. We love this van. Um, and so when we are parked and ready to set up camp, then we just um, take their car seats out. We stick them in the front here and then put everything else like backpacks and stuff on top. Jackets, winter coats. It's actually colder than we expected. Um, so we have winter coats and whatnot, but put the seats down and then we just lay the bed out. So the kids bed, so here, let me show you. So our bed is here and our feet go down under the kids bed. And then the kids bed is actually basically a double size bed for them. And it's two tables. They're um, these folding tables. Um, I'll put a link to what they are exactly, but I think they were like, 48 inch across folding tables and they're adjustable height. So um, it, it works great because we can also just pop them out and use them um, at the campsite as a table um, to eat at and whatnot. And we actually, it was pretty chilly here this morning. So we ended up just taking this one table and pulling it all the way this way. Jeff and I sat, my husband and I sat here and the kids sat on the other side of the table and we ate breakfast in the van. Um, with the doors open, but um, you know, and when it got cold, we would just close the doors, stick the windows down. We could even turn the engine on and put the heat on for a little bit, which we did. Um, and then it was it was just it was really nice so we were able to have um breakfast in here comfortably with blankets on our legs it was really nice um the picnic table too at this campground is actually full of sap as well so that was another added benefit to having this alternative um what else so we have curtains that we took down already maybe i'll have to take a different picture or video of those um and for as we get into colder weather what we actually are going to do is we bought this um like insulation wrap um like it's a bubble insulation wrap i'll link to it and we're cutting it to each window size and we're going to stick it into the windows because it actually um i've seen other bloggers say that it helps to in the warmer weather you put it in during the day when you're out of the car and it helps just to keep the car cooler and then in the um, colder weather, uh, this one guy said he has camped in temperatures in his van in temperatures at, I think it was like seven degrees. And he felt fine because he had those um, insulated things that he stuck in the windows that um, they also work to block out all the light. Um, they also work to keep you a little more stealth if you're trying to just sleep on the side of the road somewhere but they especially help with keeping it insulated and warm in the van. Um, so we're gonna try that as the temperature gets a little colder. And, um, and so this is their bed situation. So they just sleep right above us and we have a bunch of bungee cords that we actually use. Um, I'll have to just put a picture of that in, but we bungee it from the bottom of here across to that um coat rack uh whatever it's called hanger there and then um, we bungee another one from this side up to this coat rack hanger thing here um and so it kind of makes like a big cross um a big x of bungee that kind of works as um railings to hold them in on their bed so that was kind of a, um, a good little idea we came up with. And then um, to have just some extra 
Um, railings, we we lock, uh, stuck one here, and we actually put it up and hooked it to the uh, underside of this um, uh, sunroof cover that can move and close. I can show you. So you can close this if you want to have more darkness up, up above um, or have it open. Anyway, when it's open, you can hook. I wonder if you could even do it when it's closed. Let's see. Yeah, you could even hook, hook it to it when it's closed. Um, so that added a little bit more and I'll show a picture of that. Here's our bike rack and it's a toolie and we absolutely love it. And it holds four bikes and then um, it swings out, which makes it really easy to be able to open and close the hatch here. Lucy, come here, come here. This is Lucy's bed. Come here, you wanna show them how you like your bed? Come on up, yeah. So she absolutely loves her bed. So this is, um, we actually, when we first made it, we had an additional slab of wood here. Um, my husband is six foot, so I thought, we needed the extra space, but really he was fine with it being a little shorter and that way we can, we didn't have to share the bed with the dog because she's huge <laughs> and it would take up a lot of space. And when you're camping, the dog gets, you know, wet and dirty and can sometimes smell like dog. <laughs> so um, we thought it would be better for her to have her own space and for us to have our own space. And she loves it. Right now she's got a few burrs that's on her fur, so she's trying to get those out. Um, so she loves it. Hi guys. Um, we got this um, like kind of uh, wet resistant, uh, water resistant pad. So we use that underneath and then this um, kind of a sleeping bag material um, blanket. These are all at Petco. And, um, and that works really good again for when she's just like dirty um because she just sleeps on this side and it warms up to her body heat you know when the car's all closed and stuff but then you can also just easily wipe it off so that's nice um to have that feature okay loose come on out come on come on and then underneath we um the reason that we built the platform bed because at first my husband and i just laid on the on the floor on our pad but number one the floor was actually not totally even and um it wasn't totally even and flat. And number two, we needed a space for storage. Um, so what we do is we actually, um, we bought a bunch of these bins. I'll show you this one. We bought, a, we have uh, four of these bins and here's all of our kitchen stuff. And it's just everything that we need. We've got our um, cutting boards, some rags. We have our stackable pans and pots. We've got, let's see, the pan is actually down there. Um, some citronella candles, our coffee um, filter. We've got our um, hot uh, tea kettle hot water tea kettle, we have some tin foil, we stuck it in a roll of paper towels, we've got knife and kitchen utensils, a can opener, we've got our spices in here, our roasting sticks, marshmallow sticks, and we can even roast sausages and hot dogs on there. Um, we've got this little bin of random things that are useful, clips and matches, and. Um, I think we have like a bottle opener, can opener in there, or bottle opener. Some utensils, plates, um, the cup or the bowls are out of here. They fit in here too, but they're out right now because we used them for breakfast. Um, so yeah, we just have everything that we need in this one bin. That makes that a lot easier to, um, and it just slides right under there. And then on the other side, as I showed you, was our bin of clothes and I just keep the lid off of it so we can access things easily um, throughout the day when we need clothes. Um, so I guess there's one, two, three bins and then 
this fourth spot here we th we stick our um so there's one bin that's all the way at the back but then uh, over here we slide our camp chairs so we can access them easily and then some sleeping pads um although you know what i think we're going to switch this time we tried using like these really thick yoga mats for the kids and i liked it better just because you unroll it and it's ready to go um they said it was comfortable i might double up on it a little bit or get a thicker one um but they said it was fine and honestly if you don't have to blow things up um even the self-inflating ones they just kind of make more noise too um and these ones were really quiet so that was really nice so this is our the table and it really fits perfectly um throughout the car except in the very back so in the very back it does the car does get a little narrower um and so because it gets narrower we actually used a wet saw um and cut the edge of the table here and then it fits perfectly so you can see if i show you the underneath it's cut it still folds up and latches right there using that little clip it still latches so when we want to put it away in the garage it still um works fine and if you throw a table cover tablecloth on it you can still use it as a table it's it's i mean it's not it's you know there's some pieces of plastic but it's not um sharp by any means um probably because we used the wet saw but um here's the sticker for the table um yeah so it's a four foot four foot adjustable height table um so yeah i'm trying to think if there's anything more we what else what else i don't know I guess that's it. Our helmets we stuck up in the front for now. And we're using, oh, I can show you this. Maybe I should show it to you when it's clean. We're trying this out for the first time and it's pretty great actually. Um, we have a little potty. Uh, I bought this seat cover um, on Amazon. And there's actually stuff in there, so I won't show you the inside. But, um, hi, Luz. Uh, you just use a compostable bag, 100% compostable bag. And I put some, like they said, to put clumping kitty litter. I used, we have rabbits at home, so we use these, like, um, kind of pellets that absorb the liquid. And then um, it's, a, it's literally a seat, a toilet seat with a lid and it goes onto any five gallon bucket from either Lowe's or Home Depot. And, um, and then, yeah, so you just get rid of the, the bag and I stuck some extra bag with pellets underneath and some extra, um, or wood chips, wood shavings, whatever they're called, not wood shavings, but they're like paper pellets. And then um, some extra bags underneath. So if we need to get rid of this one, we have some extra ones down there anyway that seemed to work out pretty well um we're very secluded in this campsite spot here and we knew that coming in so um we were fine especially at night we were fine to do it and it's just it's it's more sanitary than going potty all over your camp i mean you can pee in the woods you can poop in the woods but it's i just didn't feel right doing that you're one of many people that visit a campsite and if everybody's just peeing all over the campsite it's gonna it's just gross so pack it in pack it out um i feel much better this way and um and it was actually very comfortable <laughs> um so what oh um at the last campground we went to we actually saw people they have a pop-up there's like a pop-up closet almost you can put these in so then you're actually in private um, doing your thing but my family doesn't need that um, and I don't know maybe we'll get it moving forward but so far this worked great and we're secluded here so it didn't matter I just have to show you guys this because 
This is my absolute, I've tried so many different toiletries bags and my absolute favorite toiletries bag is a Ziploc, a gallon Ziploc bag. Um, number one, how many times do you travel on an airplane? Hi, Ems. You got an alley on your finger, you okay? How many times do you travel on an airplane and your stuff explodes and you're just spending all this time cleaning out your your toiletries bag, number one. Number two, um, they just kind of get grimy after a while anyway. Um, I, re I, I reuse mine, I reuse it till it's absolutely done. Um, I just keep my stuff in the toiletries bag, uh, in the Ziploc bag under my sink, ready to go, um, buy an extra set of everything um, and have it ready to go uh, so I don't have to constantly pack and unpack my toiletries bag. Anyways, um, there, just super easy, super simple. The basics of what you need. You can see everything in there so you don't have to go fishing around and digging for stuff. Um, yeah, and I do the same with the kids, with the kids stuff. So, I highly recommend using is a black bag as your toiletries bag. But um, what else? Oh, last thing I guess is this is our camp stove that we use. Um, and it's got a two burner. Ugh. I can open it. It's um, two burner. These connect there, but with one hand it's hard to do. Um, two burner stove, super easy to use. Um, We've already used it and we put the propane away and everything. So, um, but you just take that metal piece and you attach it and then you attach the propane bottle to canister to it and you literally turn it on. So the gas is coming through, you push the button and it sparks it. So it lights and you're cooking your food and you're cooking water. Um, super fast, super easy. We just put it out here to save some space in the van for last night. So anyway, that's it. And hopefully that inspires anybody out there to um, make a little adventure van, minivan RV situation for your family of four plus a huge dog. I'm gonna call us a family of five because she's basically the size of the kids. Um, and she weighs the size of them combined. So anyway, um, Hopefully this inspires you guys to, to get out there. And um, again, this was more for just the last minute, one night, two night getaways. Uh, we live in the Northeast and there's a lot to explore in a short distance. So um, we wanna do that as much as possible. So this will help us um, make that happen. So I'm gonna sign off cause we're getting ready to go for a hike. Um, follow me on Instagram. Follow me, it's, it's The Active Parent on Instagram. And um, if you have any questions at all, make sure to, or comments about anything whatsoever, go ahead and post that below and, um, and I'll get back to you. Thanks for listening.